That was some great stuff from Michelle and Christina. Well, now that our bodies are loose and limber, it's time to check in with Dr. Max Sinator from the Brain Research Center at the University of British Columbia, who will explain to us that our muscles are not the only part of our bodies that can use a good stretch. I'm Dr. Max Sinator from the Brain Research Center at UBC. Neuroscience has come a long way in understanding just what the heck is going on between your ears. MRIs, CT scans, and other imaging equipment have opened up windows to your mind that really were closed in the past. One of my compatriots, a neuroscientist called Michael Merzenich, points out that we're getting really good at keeping the body alive well into the eighth decade. That's a good thing. The not so good thing is the fact that over 50% of the people arriving at that exalted destination will do so with some form of age-related dementia. In other words, far too many of us are going soft in the head. This happens because many of us start to coast mentally from about the age of 40 on. We stop the heavy lifting that we did to arrive at 40 because we can. We figured out who we are, what we do, and how to do it. It turns out that far too many of us then turn on the autopilot, kick up our feet, relax and slide through the rest of our working lives. That leads to a long, slow slide toward retirement. Then we retire, and for many of us, it's a rapid decline. That is, unless we start to reverse the trend. Reversing the trend, however, takes work. And just doing crossword puzzles, while helpful, aren't really enough. Learning the three-letter word, tat, once might have been a challenge. After that, every time you use it requires little or no brain power. Your brain lives and dies on the use it or lose it principle. And it's your brain that tells you it's okay to coast. Because, after all, we're all programmed to look for the easy way out. So get off the couch and exercise your brain. Now stretch!